Hey everyone, Crystal here from Our Spring Farm and Country. Today I thought I would just do a quick video on our chickens. We know uh, a lot of you have been asking about how many chickens do we have, what do we use them for, what kinds do we have, what's our future plans with them. So I thought I'd make a video to answer those questions. So getting to the first question, how many do we have? Well, we had 13, and then we did have one chicken go broody on us, and she laid on about 11 eggs of a variety of all of the different chickens that we have, and she hatched them out. So I'll show you those in a bit, but let's start with the rooster. So we'll start with Chubb. Chubby Cheekers is his name because he is an Easter Egger. And I don't know if many of you have seen Easter Eggers when they're chicks, but they're so cute and they've got puffy cheeks. So it just fit him. The funny thing is he was supposed to be a she because when we originally went and picked up the chicks from Cackle Hatchery in Lebanon, Missouri, we asked for all females because we just wanted some laying hens. And of course, when they sex the chickens, you know, it's not 100% accurate. So we got a rooster out of the bunch and it turned out to be chubs. So, but we got lucky there because the nice thing is, is he's an Easter Egger rooster. So any eggs that we hatch out now become Easter Eggers and their eggs will be colored and pretty. And that's all the kind of things that we like. So you may be wondering where I'm at. I'm actually filming inside the chicken coop right now. Um, a few of the chickens are in here, most are outside, but it's quieter in here and the goats can't get in here because they can't fit through the opening. So they're not photo bombing the video like they normally do. So yes, Chubb's the Easter Egger and he's the rooster. We had two Easter Eggers. Our second one is Smokey. Smokey is a little skittish and she got her name because she's got these light gray swirls in her um, white cream colored feathers and the word Smokey just kept coming to mind every time we saw her when she was a chick so it just kind of stuck. Do we name all of our chickens? No, but some of them have names so those definitely do. And then next we have our barn builders. So our barn velders, they're really pretty. They, they look like a common red chicken from a distance, but if you get close up and you look at their feathers, they're actually double laced in black. So they got red feathers, double lacing in black. They're actually really pretty. Then they also lay the most beautiful eggs. So dark chocolate eggs with freckles or speckles. I always love seeing their eggs and they're large eggs. So we love that about them. Then we have a couple of Wyandots. Our first is a silver lace Wyandots, and you've probably seen those in a lot of barnyards and, and uh, chicken runs and such. A lot of people keep the silver lace Wyandots. They're pretty common to be able to pick up at places like Tractor Supply and Orschlins uh, like that. And they also lay brown eggs, and they're really good chickens. Then we have our Colombian Wyandots. Colombian wine dots are white and they've got a black ring around their neck of black feathers. Um, they are kind of large chickens. In fact, if we were ever to do meat chickens, we would probably get Colombian wine dots because they are large in a charge. No, they're pretty docile. They're very sweet actually. And in fact, our chicken that went broody is one of our Colombian wine dots. And she was always the one that when we'd put them up at night, she would purposely hold behind just so we'd pick her up and put her in the coop at the end. She wanted to be picked up. So they're the friendliest out of our bunch. Um, so the Colombian white dots, we have three of those. And then next is our little Buff Brahma Bantams. We didn't really think it through when we were beginning getting chickens of sizes and, and what to get and what not to get. Um, but they had them available that day. And so we picked up a couple Bantams as well. And they're probably the most skittish out of all of them. Even when they were chicks, they did not want to be held and handled. And now they still, you know, run away. But what we love about them is, of course, they're really pretty and they've got the feathers that cover their feet. So we love that. They lay the smallest eggs, of course, so small little cream colored to light brown eggs. Um, but we just love having them in the flock. And they're probably the most entertaining when they're running around and <laughs> their tiny little legs. So Buff Bama, Brahma Phantoms. And then I think... I think that's all of the variety of breeds that we have. 
um, they all lay any you know every shade of color of brown and then of course um, smoky or Easter egg lays the bluish green eggs so we don't have any chickens that lay white eggs and that was on purpose we always thought that you know growing up you can get white eggs all day long from the grocery store and of course brown eggs cost more uh, but they just seemed a little more exotic and natural I don't know I always wanted chickens that lay colored eggs eventually I would love to have um, an olive agar um, a copper moran you know things like that is what I add to the flock but yeah that's down the road so now let's talk about the broody hen so when I did the video on putting down the rubber mats in the goat pen we thought she had gone broody then because she had went into the nesting coop that morning and the next day she was still there. So over 24 hours she was in there. So we thought she had gone broody and we were going to let her. And then lo and behold, she jumped out. She didn't get back in. Well, a day or so later she did. She went broody full on and started laying. So we created a separate space for her because the nesting boxes are high off the ground and we didn't want, you know, any problems that once the chicks hatched falling out of the nest or anything like that and then what we also found if she did jump down to get a drink or eat something one of the other chickens would get in that nesting box to lay their egg and then she would get in another box so she wasn't keeping the eggs warm there was 11 eggs total under her by the time that we moved her to a special brooder and we weren't sure out of those 11 how many were going to survive because of the constant she was jumping in and out and the other chickens were bothering her and, and things like that. So we didn't know if the eggs were getting cold and if they were viable, all that good stuff. So we put her in a place that we can kind of control her environment, but we didn't want to take her away from the rest of her flock. So we created it right here in the chicken pen. It was big enough. So I'll turn this camera around and show you Miss Broody. So Miss Broody is in here and here are her babies. She ended up having four. So again, she sat on 11 and four is what was produced and then the rest of the eggs were just no good. They just didn't do anything. But they are the cutest. These little ones right here almost look like they may be barn builder mix. So of course they're going to be an Easter egg or in a barn builder mix. But these dark gray ones, I can't figure out. They may be smoky, so they may just be pure Easter egg. -er. We will know as they get bigger. But <laughs> she's just in here making a mess. But she's... Can you turn this around? She is a really good mother. She's been taking care of them really well. Uh, protecting them, keeping them safe from the other ones. Of course, nobody really messes with them while they're in here, but um, I love it that when it's feeding time, she will let them eat from her beak and all that good stuff. So this is the first time that we've ever let a chicken hatch out a clutch. So it's new for us and it's exciting. It's as exciting as it was bringing all those chickens home from the hatchery that day. Just this time, we don't have as much work to do because the mother hen does everything for us. It's just kind of nice. But anyway, so yeah, 13, so now four more. We have 17 chickens total. How many of those are roos? We won't know until they get a little bigger. Um, we don't want to keep any that are roosters, so uh, you know, we'll probably rehome them and find them some good places if they are. But of course, if they are hens, then we will just add them to our other hens and we'll get some more beautiful eggs that we'll be able to enjoy on the farm. But other than that, that's it for us today. I did want to take a quick second and give a quick shout out to our friends at OMG, Ozark Mountain Goats. They gave us a shout out in one of their videos a couple weeks ago, which was so sweet of them. They are as thin, as authentic as they come. Uh, you guys, if you haven't checked out their channel or subscribed to them, please do. They make some amazing videos on delicious things that they make in their kitchen and canning, and they are gearing up for some Nigerian dwarf goats too come the beginning of next year and they're just really amazing to follow. So again, thank you to you guys, Josie and Jim, for that shout out. And we can't wait to meet up with you again soon. And uh, that's it for us today. So hit that subscribe button, hit like, share these with your friends, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye.